Hello there. This video is going to be on my pet rock Comatiaite. Let me begin with a story. About 50 years ago in the year 1969, Viljon brothers Maurice and Richard Viljon set up to study the nature of the earth's upper mantle. The study was undertaken in South Africa's Barberton area where this particular rock was first identified near Komati river thus giving it its name Komatiite. And how is Komati derived? Well, in one of South Africa's first languages, called Khoi Khoi, Koma means cow and T means my. Thus, Komati river's perennial nature is compared to the cow that always gives milk. What is a Komatiite? In hand specimen, these rocks are black, grey or grey to green in colour, mostly showing a distinct porphyric spinifex texture. According to IUGS recommendations, it is a high magnesium volcanic rock having MgO greater than 18%, SiO2 ranging from 30 to 50 to weight percent, NaO2 plus K2O less than 2% and TiO2 less than 1%. So what is so fascinating about these rocks? Firstly, it has unusually high magnesium content. It's a rock bearing chromite as its accessory mineral it's an ultramafic rock that erupted as lava and these lavas are not produced today which is why origin of komatiite is debatable. It is restricted to Archean. Few are found from early Proterozoic and even fewer from Phanerozoic era and hence these rocks are rare. These rare rocks are of great value. They are host to micro diamonds. They are also valuable for primary and secondary ore deposits. For instance, they contain primary sulphide deposits and secondary laterite deposits rich in nickel and cobalt. What are the types of comatiites? Comatiites are mainly of two types based on major and trace element contents. First type is the aluminium depleted comatiites that are found only in the oldest rocks like Barbiton. And second type are the aluminium undepleted comatiites formed in the late Archean, Proterozoic and Mesozoic as follows. Texture Comatiite shows a distinct texture called a spinifex texture. It refers to the elongated platy blades or crystals of olivin. They could also be acicular needles of pyroxene. It's formed when highly mafic to ultramafic liquid undergoes relative rapid in situ crystallization and grows extremely rapidly in low viscous magma by fast cooling. That's how we know comatiites are erupted from sub-aerial lavas and not formed in plutons. The size of olivine grains gradually increases from top to base of the layer. There could however be comatiates with no spinifex texture as there exist layers of spinifex textured flow that are completely differentiated into units as follows. A chilled margin and A1 layer is a millimeter to 10 centimeter thick layer having micro spinifex texture with small polyhedron phenocryst amidst the platy, elongate, randomly oriented skeletal olivine grain matrix. Flow top A1 layer is 5 to 150 cm thick layer made up of affinitic to very fine grain lava and cut by close spaced polyhedral joints. A2 layer From top to base of this layer, olivine grain size increases to 1 meter long. The proportion of grains generally decrease and habit and orientation changes. The top holds well-developed olivine grains that are randomly oriented tablets that are visible in hand samples. Midway, olivine blades lie parallel within book-like crystals. At base, books become larger and orientation of these books become roughly perpendicular to the flow top. The B1 layer. The spinifex layer on top and the bottom B1 layer shows a sharp contact. This layer is not necessarily present but they comprise elongate hopper olivine phenocryst having firm preferred orientation that is parallel to the flow margins. The phenocryst is within pyroxene glass matrix and lower contact grades into solid polyhedral grains accompanied by change in preferred orientation. Cumulate layer B2 to B4 B2 contains medium to fine grained cumulates made mainly of subhedral, equant to tabular and slightly rounded edged skeletal olivine crystal. They are clustered or tightly packed. B3 or knobby peridotite layer shows presence of matrix knobs of material better resistant to weathering than olivine. 
It contains slightly skeletal to highly skeletal grains that are randomly oriented. B4 consists of massive cumulates of olivine crystals with chilled basal margin. Basal chill zones of few centimeters have finer and lesser polyhedral olivine grains in ground mass. Olivine grains are smaller and fewer. Mineralogy Comatite contains olivine, pyroxene, glass, chromite or spinel and occasionally amphibole and plagioclase. These rocks undergo metamorphism, hydrothermal and seafloor alteration and deformation which alters their primary mineralogy. Hence, they contain metamorphic minerals in place of their primary assemblages. Low-grade metamorphism results in serpentine, antigorite, chlorite, talc, tremolite, magnesite, dolomite, and magnetite. At higher metamorphic grades, they contain antophyllite, encetite, olivine, and diopside. Olivine Phosterite olivine is seen as phenocryst. They are rich in nickel, calcium, and chromium. Magnesium olivine is seen replaced by serpentine, talc, and magnetite. Pyroxene CACR pyroxene is seen as porphyric phenocryst. Calcic clinopyroxene and minor orthopyroxene forms ground mass. Pyroxenes are thus in the form of bronzite, augite, and pigeonite. Magnesium clinopyroxenes are inconsistently altered to epidote, chloride, and tremolite. Plagioclase Anorthite, that is calcium-rich plagioclase, is seen in ground mass. Glass is usually in the form of de-vitrified, fresh or anhydrous state. Petrogenesis Formation of comatiates is a debatable topic, but some possibilities could be ruled out to narrow down the research as follows. The predominance of comatiates in the Archean, their decreasing occurrence in the Proterozoic and extreme rarity in the Phenerozoic reflects cooling of mantle from which these rocks are derived. Higher the MGO, higher is the melting temperature of magma. Thus they are formed in conditions where temperature is higher up to 1650 degrees Celsius than the ambient mantle. Such conditions could be achieved in plumes. The spinifix texture however is formed by rapid cooling and these ultramafics were erupted as lava to the surface. Comatiites thus represent primitive mantle melts requiring high degree partial melting, mantle plumes upwelling and erupting as lava during the Archean, early Proterozoic and few times in Phanerozoic. Location Here is the location of comatiites found all over the world. Archean greenstone belt of Kolar schist in Karnataka is one of the noteworthy chromite bearing Indian location of comatites. Thank you.